segment brought to you by First Citizens, celebrating the first 25. All right, thank you very much, First Citizens, for making this Hindu traditions possible. With me today again is Pandit Rudra Sharma. How are you, sir? Sita Rama, I'm good. How are you doing today? I am, I am very good. A bit sleepy, but I am getting there. I'm getting better. And we have two things to talk about today, one being this, what we are seeing in front of us here. Right, so this is the culture. So usually uh, when we have pujas, we would usually see this seated at the center of the baby. Mm -hmm. Bedi being that platform in which we perform our puja and our worship. Um, but do we really know what this represents? No, we don't. So when we pray to the Khalsa, what we pray to are the Trinity gods, which are Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahesh, namely our creator, sustainer, and destroyer of the universe. But more importantly, when we speak about the Khalsa, we observe a few different things about the culture and what we actually invoke or, or worship as well are the different elements. Mm -hmm. Firstly, we would see that the culture is made out of clay or earth, that being the first one. Inside of the culture, there's water present as well. Mm -hmm. So we have water in there. And on top, we have fire. So we invoke that element of fire as well. But with that three elements, where, where's the next where, one? Yeah. So the air, which is around it. Right. But uh, in our scriptures as well, there's an, a fifth element which we refer to as the ether or the nothingness. That's basically space. So we recognize that as an element as well. So that's basically what the, the, the culture, culture is represent. about. <coughs> and there's also a fig tree next to it. What, what does that signify? So usually behind the culture, there's usually a fig tree. Right. Now, not all pujas, you will notice that there's a fig tree. Uh -huh. uh, Years gone by, there's a traditional puja that we call Satnarayan Vratkatha, in which we worship Satnarayan Swami. It is said that when we perform Vishnu puja or Satnarayan Swami puja, that fig tree is there. That's why it's, it's represented mm. in the back. I so always question why, why do we have a fig tree on the baby? You'd notice several other trees as well, too. You know, you'd, we'd, some would have um, the Tulsi plant as well yeah. present on the baby as well. So those are two things that we just talked about, and there is another one that we're going to chat about. That is to do with the grahas. Right. So well, what is that? Uh, basically, uh, it's about patra reading and um, demystifying it then. Like, mm -hmm. what is patra reading? Why do we go to the pundit and ask them to read our patra? So basically what happens is that when we are born, the planets were aligned a certain way. Mm -hmm. Usually the first thing when you go to a pundit and you hear graha, oh God, everybody <laughs> worried. Yeah. But a graha is not something to be worried about necessarily. Graha literally means planets and right. now means nine. So hence we have no grahas, which are the nine planets. When these nine planets are aligned a certain way, that is going to project the outlook of your life. But there are three things that actually project the outlook of the ups and downs of our life. The first being, like we said, at the time of that we are born, or the planets who are aligned. The second being our bad and good karma. So the third one is decision making. So you could come and read your patra now, and I am telling you, well, there's a chance that you may have an incident going to occur, and you can avoid it. Yeah. So it's a decision making process as well too. So grahas can influence us, both good and bad. For example, a Surya graha may affect our eyes negatively or some of our organs, but another individual, Surya Graha, can affect them positively uh -huh. as well by blessing the individual with great knowledge. Yeah, and people also want to find out about money. Can you all tell people those things? Well, basically, the, the Patra gives you an outlook of your life, uh, namely in different fields, uh, relationship-wise, financially, um, incidents that may occur, and you know the general outlook of health for your life as well too uh, so if i come by you you may be able to tell me the the possibility of something definitely happening. all right thank you very much pandit rudra sharma for coming in we touched today on the kalsa we touched on the fig tree which we do not have on set mm -hmm. and we touched on the grahas and the significance of that so thank definitely. you very much that was hindu traditions brought to you by first citizens this segment brought to you by first citizens celebrating the first 25.